Hey guys, we are back with another tutorial on Brushna.io. Today we are actually going to work on our Gold Troll template. This is like a very classic whack-a-mole type thing with a purposeful communication, aka educational twist, as all of our templates do here on Brushna. Make sure that all of them have some sort of an educational aspect to them. Now, before we start anything, we wanna make sure we are signed in. So we are up here. If this says log in, make sure you log in either with your email password or make sure you sign up. Either way, you wanna make sure you do that before you come in and you start editing because you wanna make sure you can save your work. So I'm here, I'm signed in. I'm going to click the create button under Goal Troll and it will pop us up into our classic editor. Now, we've got two different menus here. So one on the left side is our uh, kind of visual uh, audio side. And then on the right side, we've got our more verbal side. So that's gonna be our description, our title, the questions here. You can see there's a little bit of the visual here as well, but when I click it, it brings me back over to the left side. So let's start on the left. We're gonna get all of our pretty stuff down and then we can start to work on the questions. So here in our avatar, this is this little bunny guy and you can choose you know, an astronaut, you can choose this little weird purple guy, or of course we've got a whole bunch of different um, um, animals for you to choose from, stuff like that. I actually really like this cat. We're gonna go with the kitty cat. So we're gonna hit back and you can also check out these Bolt Squad uploads. So you can actually upload your own avatar here. If I click upload avatar, I'm just gonna have to follow these instructions and I can add a file. Let me show you what it looks like really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a very weird avatar, which is actually a UFO. Uh, but this, is, this was the first thing that was up on my computer. So let's go ahead and grab it. I am going to title this spaceship. And then I'm going to add a bunch of tags. And now my tags are set so that other people can find this if I make it public. So, so if somebody types in any of these things into a search bar when they're searching for an avatar, this guy will pop up. Now, if I want to not have that happen, if I want people to not be able to search for my stuff, then I would go ahead and keep it private because that means that nobody else is gonna be able to find it. Now I'm gonna make this public because I think he's pretty cool, although I'm not sure how this is gonna work as far as an avatar with this particular template, so let's see. We are going to upload, it'll take just a second and then it will pop up with this beautiful green uh, banner that says the asset is uploaded. Then I can come into my avatars and my avatar is right here. These are where my uploaded avatars are. If I come all the way down to Bolt Squad Uploads, you can see my avatar is now in here. Now we're gonna move into the background and I've actually got a space background already in here that's actually kind of funny that I have this. I promise I did not plan this out. Now I'm going to go and change my interface. The interface is this little basket, this wooden thing right here. We've got some that we have provided for you, which I think I will probably go with this because it's nice and cold in space. Now collectibles, I'm actually gonna skip for just a second because I wanna show you how to do this on this right-hand side. But we can go ahead and do our music. Same idea, you can go ahead and upload your own music if you want. This will pop up with a little uh, panel that tells you the instructions. You wanna add your music and then you'll enter a title, enter those keywords so that people can find your game. And then again, you can choose if you wanna be the only one who can use your music, then you make it private or you leave it public and allow other people to use it. If you don't wanna upload your own music, then you can go ahead and come in here. We have a bunch of different options for you and you can go ahead and click this little play button and it will start to play and you'll actually be able to sample the music. Once you've found something that you like, you'll go ahead and click the pink cross button and that will turn into a check and then you know that that is applied to your game. If you don't want music, make sure you come up here and click no music. You can see all of this kind of goes a little bit dark. So you wanna do that because if you click no music but you don't select anything, it will automatically have a default song that plays. So if you want no music, make sure you click no music. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put little idea back on and I've got that check mark there so I know it has been applied. Now I can come over to my right side 
And we've got a bunch of questions here. So one thing that you want to note in Gold Troll is that they are questions and not levels. In most of our uh, templates, you can have multiple levels. In this particular one, you have multiple questions. So you can make multiple games that have multiple questions, but there are not multiple levels in this, if that makes sense. And I will show you what that means when we're actually playing. So these little purple things will tell us some of the rules. Um, the question is only going to appear for a specific amount of time and the maximum limit for custom text is six letters so that it is visible and, and able to be visible on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of those because I do understand what's, what it's asking me. And I'm going to start with my question. So you want to make sure this question is actually not that long. You have the capability of putting in a very long question. However, what ends up happening, this right here is where your question will actually show up. So if you have a very long question, it gets a little bit hard to see. And especially if your players are on mobile, if they're using their phones, it's going to be really hard for them to see the actual question. So make sure that you leave it fairly short and sweet. Now, this question appear time is how long the actual question will stay up before your player uh, loses a life and like hasn't gotten the question, if that makes sense. I like to make it about 15 because that means it gives like a couple of seconds for them to read the question, for the, the things to pop up a couple of times and then for, to try and figure out what question they need to click. If you want, you can add a couple zeros, let that go for as long as you want and they can take their time and really think about the question. It's totally up to you. Now, why that level thing matters is this closing answer will pop up at the end of the level, not after this question has been answered. So these closing answers, you might want to make them a little bit smaller because all of them are going to show at the same time. And your player is going to have to read through it a little bit more like a page than having it pop up in and out as they are playing. So I like to keep this a little bit simpler. And so I'm going to say, Actually, I'm gonna change this a little bit because I want this to say is the nearest star, which means I'm gonna say, what is, what's the nearest star to planet Earth? And then we can take that away. Perfect. What's the nearest star to planet Earth? So now we're going in and we're getting the right answers and the wrong answers. So obviously these don't make any sense as far as what I'm trying to ask. So I'm going to click out. This little X button allows me to get rid of all of these. And you can see there's two options here. If I click add asset, it will bring us over to that left hand side, those collectibles that we kind of skipped earlier. And you can add any of our different um, uh, assets here. Of course, you can add all of these Bolt Squad uploads. What's kind of neat is you can also add text or you can add text that is an image. So let me show you what the difference is. So if I'm going to go back, I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to try and find a sun in here in just a second, or I can go like this. I can come over here and I can add custom text and I can say sun and Add the text and now that text is here the Sun is going to be the answer and it will show up as SUN however we can only go for six letters and sometimes we want something that's a little bit longer than that right so we might add an asset that we come down here bolt squad uploads and do something like this person has done right it looks like they're doing some sort of food um, some sort of you know maybe it's it's a, a business I'm not entirely sure maybe they're a nutritionist I'm not sure but you can add that and that has a lot more text to it it's a little bit difficult to see right now because it is uh, black on a dark background but you can see it a little bit better where they have not cut things out training weather favorite subjects training outfit things like that you wouldn't be able to type that into custom text so they made it an asset I think it was pretty cool I am just going to go through and actually let's see if we can't find a Sun well 
you know what? We're going to leave it as sun. Let's go ahead and just do our custom text here. So we're going to say sun. Um, we're going to say moon, even though that's not a star, but I actually don't know a ton of names of different stars. So we're going to say moon. We're going to say Venus. Um, we're going to say Jupiter. Oh, right. So you can't do Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn? Yes. Saturn works. And then, oops, I didn't click. Okay. Uh, Saturn. Add the text and don't just click out of it. And then one last thing we will do Pluto. And then add the text. So now all of these will be popping up at different times above this. This will have like sun or moon or something above it as it pops up and down and you're gonna have to figure out where the sun is and click it. So let's go ahead and add another question by clicking this add question button right here. And you can see immediately it allows my question two to pop up and I can toggle that back and forth between question one and two. Now I am not able in this case to change my avatar without it changing for the other level. That is one thing that's different about this template that's for, in comparison to other templates. Because on the question, because again, there's no extra levels. This is just the question. It will go from question to question to question, and it doesn't allow you to change that within it. So we're gonna keep this as our avatar. We're gonna keep this as our uh, uh, interface. We're gonna keep this as our background just so that it is extra uh, consistent, right? So now I'm back to question two and I can change the question. So let's say um, where, actually what's the hottest planet in the solar system? Uh, let's just say what's the hottest planet and we will go into kind of maybe our description or our intro and say that all of this has to do with the solar system. I'm going to leave this as 15 so that they still have 15 seconds to be able to, to uh, choose which is the right answer and then I can come up here and I can say And then, so now, of course, I have to change these around. I can actually leave all of these, uh, I think, wait, did I do Venus in one of these? Let's see. Um, we definitely have to change our right answer to Venus. I'm almost positive I did not use Venus in here, but we're gonna go ahead and click all of these out to add our custom text and one more time we're gonna say moon even though that's not a planet we're gonna say mercury is not able to be done so we'll go back to saturn um we will say pluto and neptune oh that's two i thought that was six dang it uh neptune venus mars Gotta go through the planets, figure out which one I can do next. So again, if I wanted to do Jupiter or something like that, I would actually make it an image and upload it as a collectible so that I could see the uh, text and have it be longer than six letters, right? So I'm actually gonna do Earth. Okay, so now we've got all of that. Our final thing is going into our settings. This is gonna be our title, things like that. So we're gonna say um, space choice. And if you guys have been following along, you know that I personally, Lindsay, I do not have great uh, creativity when it comes to names. So we're just doing space choice and then we're moving on to our tags. Now these tags are interesting because they're, reason, they're there for a couple of reasons. One, as we continue to populate and build off our game libraries, we'll be able to find these tags and put them into the right categories, right? So your games will end up in good categories. As we move forward and we end up having a, like a search uh, button and, and really incorporating the search feature, you'll be able to literally search through these tags. So you want to do things like I would do space, alien, um, moon, sun, stars, um, planets. That's, oh, that's not how you spell planets. 
and you know that's that's good you can go crazy as many as you want you need at least one in order for your game to be published so make sure you have at least one and actually I'm gonna get rid of gems because that doesn't make sense for my particular game now we're moving on to category we've got health social entertainment sports games for good enterprise I'm gonna stick this in education because I'm kind of teaching people a little bit about the about space about the planet stuff like that so gonna leave that education now collect player email is really neat this makes it so that players have to input their emails before they play the game they do not need a brush nut account they don't need to sign up for anything they just need to put in the email before they play the game so it's kind of nice if you're a teacher and you want to track which kids are um, you know playing your game you can check those emails if you're a business, uh, you can actually collect leads, and especially if you find that you get these emails and then maybe they're not on your website, you could follow up with them, and that's kind of a cool option. So I'll leave this toggled on so you can see what that looks like. And then in our description and our intro here, so there's, there's a little difference between these. The description pops up uh, before the person clicks play. So there's like a play button, and then an about button, and then a settings button, and this comes up in the about button. This is like a little bit more, you can put a little bit more context in here. Um, you, can, you can put a lot more content and you can format a little bit better. So let's say here, we're gonna tell people what they're, what they're doing. And you're gonna say, um, solve the space questions to choose which um, UFO holds the right answer, right? So that's kind of what we're doing here. And then we can add something like a call to action here, clicking enter twice, I can make it a new line or even space it out a little bit. So this actually allows for a lot more organization, a lot more formatting. And I can say something along the lines of, if you like this game, um, head to brushna.io to play more, right? One thing to note, this is not hyperlinked. So you wanna make sure if you are sending people to a link that it is very easy to uh, remember. Brushing.io, easy to type into a URL. But if I wanted to do something like maybe I wanna send them to my TikTok, I can just go like this, TikTok at Brushnagate. Oh, that is not how we spell our TikTok. Brushnagate, right? So then once they're on TikTok, they can just search for you. The difference between this and the game introduction, the game introduction does not allow you to format quite as much, so it's going to be in a single paragraph instead of separated into these little lines, as well as it pops up after the person clicks play. So the person has to see this. So I actually really like to put a, um, the intro as like what they're going to do. And you can also put a call to action in here. So let's just say we're gonna huck all of this in here. Um, Let's go to the very end, and I need to make sure that I capitalize that I right there. If play more. Now again, this is going to be in a single paragraph. It's not going to be quite as easy. This is really nice because it's separated. People's eyes can be drawn to it. They see Breshna game right away versus Breshna.io in here is a little bit hidden, right? So that's the main differences. And then here we have our right to left text toggle. This is pretty cool. We can have games made in any language on our platform. So Arabic, Hebrew, pa Persian, Pashto, Urdu, anything like that. If you uh, want those texts that go uh, with script that go right to left, you can toggle this on. Of course, I'm using English, so I'm going to keep it toggled off. Otherwise, nothing will make sense. Now. We have done all of our amazing things. We've gone through our description. I'm actually gonna capitalize this I here as well. We've gone through our introduction. We've decided whether or not we're going right to left. We've got our different questions. We've got all of our different collectibles. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to this little bar of purple buttons and click publish. Once I click publish, all of, this, uh, all of these options come up. It tells me that my game is live and I can do a couple of things. 
one, I can go ahead and copy this URL and then I can send it out to whoever I want. I can text it, I can tweet it, I can put it wherever I want to put a link and people can just go ahead and click. Nobody has to sign up or anything like that. They just click and they start to play your game. The other cool thing that you can do is you can click this embed code and then you copy paste this code directly into your website and then it will show up in your website and it's not going to go to a new tab. Um, and you won't have to go anywhere, it won't do anything, it will be directly on your website and that's pretty cool. But of course, this pink button right in the middle says play and we are going to play because I highly recommend you play all of your games because you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna uh, find. Like sometimes you realize, oh, that wasn't the right thing. Something that's really cool as well, uh, this is that, first of all, this is that email that we, um, email toggle that we, we turned on. But something cool as well is this actually, if it's not embedded into a website, it opens up in its own tab. So I have two tabs open. I can flip back and forth between the editor and Gold Troll or, and my game so that I can just go back in real time and make any edits that I want to make. So now I'm going to type in my email here. This would actually go to your, oops, let me. This would actually go to your uh, dashboard and you would be able to find that and potentially email me. Now that email is, <laughs> you're not gonna email me on that one because it's been uh, gone for a very long time. But anyway, back on track. So we have our play, we have our about, we have our settings. Here in about, this is that description that we put. So solve the space questions, choose which UFO holds the right answer. If you like this game, head to Breshna.io to play more. TikTok at Breshna game. And I can hit back. Then I can hit play, I am going to go for easy, and you can see the difference here, right? There's no way for me to have formatted this so that this goes down and is a separate line. Well, this is fine, it looks really nice, not a big deal, but it's just something to be aware of. So now this pops up, what is the nearest star to planet Earth? And that is the sun, and we can click correct. You can see it pops up right here, 15 seconds, what's the hottest planet? And that is Venus, it's right here. And then again, what's orbits the Earth? And that is moon and boom, that was right there. And then this is our answer. So you can see, right, all of this pops up at the same time. So if you go and you have whole paragraphs here, this gets to be a little bit much. So a lot of the time people will just go, oh my goodness, this is too much, and click next. But if you have nice little short ones, the sun is nearest to the star, it makes up 99% of the mass in our solar system, it's a little bit easier for you to read. And then you click next, and you're done. So that's our goal troll. I hope you guys enjoy. Let us know if you have any questions. If you'd like some uh, more help or a little bit more of a hands-on demonstration, you can come all the way down to our homepage and make sure that you book a live demo session. It is completely free to book a session with us. You just click this book now. You can also go ahead and email us at info at gamingfordev.com and we're happy to answer any questions that you have. So I hope you have a great time making your game and thanks for being game.